One of the quickest ways to influence how someone feels is to tell them something really juicy and negative or to tell them something pleasant and positive. We took neutral faces that were making no expressions and we paired them with gossip. So we'd show one image of a person, you know, completely neutral face, and we would pair it with a description of a behavior like stole a book. And our hypothesis was that the faces that had been previously paired with negative gossip would be more visually salient. What gossip is helping to do is to direct attention um, to particular people so that you can gather more information about them. That means that gossip has a much more important role uh, in directing perception and behavior than we previously thought. So the most practical implication, I think, is that um, we find out that gossip doesn't just influence your opinion of people, it influences your visual system. You, in part, are the architect of your own perception, and how you feel influences what will be most, you'll be most conscious of, what you'll be um, most uh, aware of seeing. This research suggests that two people can be looking at exactly the same scene and seeing it very differently depending on their prior experience or their prior knowledge about what's in that scene. If it is really true that you are in part the architect of your own experience, then what it means is that somebody else's experience of exactly the same situation could be very different from yours. And it's not always possible to say that one person is right and one person is wrong. It, the truth of their perception could be in part based on on their prior knowledge or prior experience or even what they're feeling in the moment.